Hey, what's up guys? It's Don and today, well, we're starting a new series. That's right. So you guys know traditionally I have always run some sort of a little series from right here in my office during my lunchtime based around mobile VR. Well, with the launch of the Oculus Quest and mobile VR getting like uber cool now, I, I couldn't resist. So today we are going to be kicking off what I will be calling the quest for VR. That's right, because, well, we're going to be doing it on a quest. And you guys know I've always done stupid schlocky titles for this uh, lunchtime with my Gear VR, VR on the go. So here we go, Quest for VR. It's officially named. So with that in mind, uh, my office is kind of small, and this is a room scale device, so I'm going to start concentrating on more of the seated experiences here and then doing the room scale experiences when I get home. So uh, for the first video, Video in Quest for VR, we're going to be taking a look at Moss. And man, let me tell you, it, Moss was one of those titles that just blew me away when it came to the Oculus Rift last year. I love good third-person VR, and Moss totally scratched that itch. So if you haven't seen it, Polyart Games has created a masterpiece with this one, and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get the headset on, let's get in there, and let's check out Moss on Quest for VR. All right, here we are back in Moss, and man, I haven't jumped back in the game since I beat it on the Oculus Rift last year. But let me tell you, it, man, it, it doesn't look that much different in the Quest. I mean, obviously some of the textures are a little more muted, but wow, the scale of everything in here looks the same. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started here. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Oh, absolutely wholeheartedly let's begin. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A Not weird the creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Not cool, man. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. Damn Sarfog. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Okay, now it's time to turn the page. Get a little Meanwhile, too quick there. Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. Oh no. A large tree grew upon him 
It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass, and awaiting its next hero. Alright. Alright, here we are. Oh that hero, man, this looks so albeit good. Albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Hi, Dusk Quill. was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. Always a little further. Always. God, the animation is so good. I have always loved miniature scale in VR. And this is just cream of the crop. I mean, God, this looks great. She was not exactly sure what she roused, Hi. but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Hello? Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night right, would follow. now we have control. Excellent. Hey, Ladybug. Okay, so let's see if I remember how to do this here. Ah, oh, nope. Come on now. There we go. And of course, we assist. You know, and I will say, as as platformer type games go, Night, this one's definitely good warned, as well, just for was the when gameplay. Danger was most present, but Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Okay, so how do I get? Aha, that's right. Gotta do a little side shimmy action. I love how you can interact with some of the foliage and some of the things in the world. So, very cool. And hit a save point. Mm 
Okay. Sorry, right, I'm being quiet, guys. I'm just really getting into this. I'll tell you what, this I mean, the Oculus Quest just changes everything. I'm sorry. I mean, it really does. Just the ability to bring high quality VR with me to work. And you know, I'm not trying to diminish and say that you know the the Oculus Go or the Gear VR before it were any less quality, but you know, obviously, we didn't have this. I mean, we didn't have the ability for me to actually have six degrees of freedom. And, you know, there there's some snobs out there, I'll call it like I see it, you know, that, that are like, oh, you know, real VR, you know, real VR is not uh, three degrees of freedom. And, and, you know, in a way, I guess I get that. I mean, it, but I don't know. It, you know, I loved my Gear VR, I loved my Go, but man, I love my Quest so much more. And that's all I'm going to say on that issue. Oops. See, like I stopped, uh, stopped concentrating and I can't make the jumps. There we go. Another little scroll there. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Didn't mean to try to hit you with my sword. All blades of grass must die. I am Quill, Slayer of Grass. It's like, you know, there's just so many tones, overtones of Zelda in this game. And speaking of Zelda, I know a lot of you are, are asking me to play Journey of the Gods. Trust me, that one's coming up. But, uh, you know, we, we all saw it. I think it was Jugon Virtual who did the, the first video of using the quest out in the field to play Journey of the Gods. And by God, Orbis, Journey of the Gods, those games. I, I'm really trying to book time on the uh, football field here if Coach will let me. Uh, you know, either that or maybe in the, uh, the basketball stadium. Um, it's one of the advantages of working on a large college campus. But, you know, you can't just run over there and say, hey, I want to get on your football field. Um, so hopefully I can work out with the university just the ability to borrow it for an hour. That would be fantastic. I can't remember if I can even talk to anybody in here. No, I guess you can't. So... Okay, guys, now we're probably just going to head up the path here, and then I'm going to call it a day, because, you know, this does still happen on my lunch hour, and, well, you know, my fat ass still likes to eat, so. Hello. So. Yeah, okay, no, I think, I think we will. I think that we'll make this our stopping point. This is a nice little vista. But, man... Final thoughts before we go. Man, I love this. Polyarch, you guys have once again just delivered a masterpiece. It's always been a masterpiece, but I don't know. There's just something special about it in the quest. So I am going to throw a link for this in the description. If you haven't played Moss and you have an Oculus Quest, man, you owe it to yourself to give this a look. But for me, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I, I know I say this pretty much scripted the whole time, but it's just, it, it is from the bottom of the heart. You know, thank you. Thank you for, for sticking it out to the end. It does mean the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by my channel, guys, that really means the world to me. Thank you for coming by and checking out what I do here on uh, VR Gamer Dude. Uh, if you want to see more, man, smash subscribe, hit the bell, you know, leave a like. You guys know, I don't know we all say it, but uh, you know, I'd, I'd really like to take you with me the next time I do something cool in VR. And if you're already a subscriber, you guys know I love you. So I'm not going to go blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's it, guys. Burgers calling my name. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off today. Peace.